how to make an image slider in WordPress. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add a slider to your WordPress site. So to do this is a really simple process. The first thing you have to do to create your own image slider is that you have to go on to your WordPress dashboard then you're going to add a plugin. Now I'm going to be using a plugin for this. There are several different ways you can go on about this. I personally like it when a plugin just works really well. It just blends in. So I want to add a slider on the top of my site. So I'm going to go into my WordPress dashboard and in my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to click on the left panel where it says plugins and you're going to click on add new plugin. Once you click on add new plugin, just search for smart slider or you can even just search for slider over here. There are several different slider applications. I am going to be using smart slider three and I'm just going to click on install now. Once you click on install now, you are going to then click on activate. Once you click on activate, your smart slider will be activated on your WordPress site. So now that our slider is a active plugin, you will see it over here. You will also uh, see it on the left panel as well. You should be able to find the smart slider like so. So now you can click on your smart slider over here to see, you know, your basic onboarding. Just click on go to dashboard. Now, once you've done that, you will see that you have a new project that you can create or you even have a tutorial slider. I'm going to move this tutorial slider into the trash and we're going to click on new project. Now I'm going to click on create new project and I'm going to choose a simple slider. Then you have different slider types. So if you want to build a simple slider, you can do it. But if you want to build a carousel or a showcase, those are features that are reserved for the premium version of this application. After that, you're going to name your project. So this is going to be my homepage slider. And then you're going to choose the width and height. So this is 1200 pixels by 600 pixels. I think I might want this to be a bit longer. Uh, so for that, I am going to actually go with 1200 by 1200 and you can choose the layout as well. I want this to be a full width layout. Once you've done that, just click on create to proceed with your first slider. Now, once you've done that, it's time to add your slides. To do that, just click on add slide and you can add the type of slide. You can choose images, blanks, posts, static overlays, as well as dynamic slides. I want to use some images, so I am just going to select this image over here. Then I am going to add another image and then I'm just going to use this one over here. Then I might want to include another one. So I'm going to edit this third one as well. And it's a blank one. So I think I'm going to first remove this. I don't want to design it. I'm just going to use images. So instead of adding a blank, I'm going to click on add slide and I'll add another image instead. And I'll just click on select over here. Now I'm just going to reorder these like so. And you can also choose a static overlay for your slider if you want. You can click on edit over here. And once you do that, you can, you know, add your overlay however you prefer, whatever content you want to add. Hi, my name is Jane or whatever overlay you want to add. You can add animations and other things as well in the content. But I think I don't want to do that. So. I'm just going to build it with images. Now I'm going to remove this one. And once we have completed all of our slides, you will see on the bottom, you have a short code. You also have a PHP code. You have a simple slider, an alias, and the slider design. You can also control the size. So if you want to limit the slide width, if you want it to be on for desktop versions, tablet versions, and mobile versions, 
Then you can choose your breakpoints as well as layouts of the slider. Then you can monitor the controls. So you want a icon if you want mouse wheel to be disabled. Then after that, you have arrows, the type of arrows you want to display on the slider. Let's say I want these ones. Then you can also add previous color arrows. You can add the previous position, next position, the tags, as well as bullets, text bars, or shadows on the slides. And you also have your image animation. So you can add some background animations like these. So these are pretty intense. I personally don't like them. I'm gonna go with maybe the fade or the curtain to left, the puzzle animation, the zoom out animation. You have a few options in sliders. I just like to scale to the left and I'll just make it a bit slow. And after that, we also have autoplay. We have optimizations, then we have the slide fill and developer. I'm just gonna click on save now that I am pretty good with the overall setup of our slider. And now all I have to do is copy this short code. And once I copy this short code, I'm going to visit my site over here and I'm going to click on edit page and you can even directly add this to the pages section or to your blog posts as well. But I'm just doing this to my home page. So I'm going to click on the plus icon on the top left and I'm just going to search for short code. Now you will see the shortcode block over here. You're going to add this and then you will see on the center it says um, write shortcode here. So it's just going to paste in the shortcode and you can just hold this like so to move it into position. So I'm just going to move this to the top like so. And once you've done this, you are just going to click on save. And then once you have saved these changes, click on a view page and your slider should take effect within no time. So you guys can see this is what the slider looks like. Uh, it's a bit too large. I do have to orient it a bit because the images don't look really uh, smooth. So still, we currently still have, you know, added our slider and now I can go back and make alterations into the alignment, into the margins, as well as the overall layout of the slider. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform, and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.